Morning, everybody. Mike Nemec here, midweek Wednesday, this July 17th. Well, we had a couple of days of sell-offs in here, Monday and then yesterday. We kind of closed on our lows yesterday, but it kind of whimpered out a little bit. We tried it again last night, really, to make new lows. So it seems like what we had been going on in here, the one-two punch of that we lost in here, that being weather and crop conditions, kind of maybe have ran its gamut because now we're kind of rebounding here in the final stages of the overnight session. We're up roughly five cents in beans, two cents in corn, a penny in a wheat, up around a buck in the meal, and up around 20 points in the soybean oil. So once again, we've got four points that we think that we're monitoring in here. Three of them were negative, and then the fourth one, which was the crop conditions and weather, which kind of turned a little bit to the negative side this week on paper per se, where the uh, weather threat kind of lessened and the crop conditions got a little bit better. Nothing's made in stone as of yet, but that gave us the market sell-off. Where this whole thing started from was roughly around the uh, 510 area in the December wheat, roughly around 420 in December corn, and roughly around the 890 level in the November beans. Bottom end of a range, we're trying to keep that in mind to go and say if we have any follow through through it, that could be add, add to the momentum. But we also know where our tops have been when we came back off of these uh, most recent highs because of the weather and the crop conditions. The other two points, that, or other three points that we've been watching has been the recent USDA report. We know we have enough adequate supplies both in the U.S. and in the world, so that's a non-bullish event. Number two, we know that our demand pace isn't all that great. We'll get our export sales coming on out tomorrow. We'll get ethanol numbers coming out today. Egypt's in for a tender overnight, but we haven't get any of that business. So that's been a negative as well. And then the fourth one has been the politics. We know there's been no traction between the U.S. and the Chinese, amongst others, as far as trade wars go. And yesterday, Trump was on the, uh, on the news a little bit trying to say that it's still going to be a long way to go and try and get anything done with the Chinese. So we had three things that were kind of non-bullish, and then the fourth one with the weather and the uh, crop conditions kind of backing the market on off. However, it seems like we put ourselves back into a box. And it looks like right now what we did last night that we're going to try and stay in that box because it looks like what we're going to go and do now is, is that the trade's going to go and hunker down and try and surmise what's going to happen on this August report. Trade's still uncertain about what the acreage is going to be and they may be limited as far as wanting to go and press the marketplace. And plus, once again, we're not out of the woods as far as crop ratings and weather goes. The weather forecast has backed off the temperatures. It's going to be around 100 degrees here in Chicago over the next two or three days, but cooling on off. But I will say, if you look at the NOAA maps, for both the uh, 6 to 10 and the 18 to 14 day, there's really not a lot of moisture around. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that as well. Today, yesterday was the cutoff day for the next commitment of trade report on Friday. We still have the trade net long, the soft red winter wheat and the corn, and that short the complex. So once again, we tried to press the market. We're back into a box and perhaps waiting the August report amongst the other four factors, or the other three factors we've been talking about. Once again, these are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. I thank you.